This is Ray. And this is Andy. And this is FDS Local Sports. What's up, Ray? We're uh, Andy, we've been on a summer break for quite some time now. Yep. And uh, we're, we're, we're getting back from summer break, and we're ready to get into some fall football. Absolutely. We found a locker room, and we're ready to put a show on again. Guys, football starts this weekend. The AUS has an exhibition game this weekend. Games coming up, just so you know, we got Acadia's playing at St. of X and Mount A's at St. Mary's this weekend. And guess what, Andy? You're potentially partaking in one of these? Yours truly is going to be in the uh, St. Mary's game. All right. Well, then that's the game to watch, clearly. We, I was, it's been a tough off season. I was considering maybe taking a year off football. Yeah. But... That all fell apart, and I'm back on the field starting this weekend. Yeah, we had two intense conversations about whether Ray was going to ref anymore or not. They were actually pretty quick. Uh, When he said, I'm thinking about giving it up, I said, no, you're not. (laughs) And then we had the conversation a second time, and it kind of went like, no, you're not. (laughs) Well, spoiler alert, he's not. I'm not. So AUS football, we, we can't wait to start covering these games. We look forward to watching your AUS champions, Acadia Mm -hmm. X-Men, you know, get back at it and see what they can do this year. But at the same time, Mount A's got that new head coach. Yeah. Lots of new things going on at Mount A. Coach Fraser. Can't wait to find out what's happening at Mount A. Who's playing quarterback? It's going to be fun to find out who's playing quarterback for most of the teams in the AUS, right? I'll uh, I'll be able to give you an insight on that this weekend. Excellent. All right. Do you know if those are streaming, by the way? uh, Yes, they'll be streaming on AUS television. There you go. AUS has an app. Download the uh, Atlantic University app, and uh, you can uh, watch the games. Online. There you go. Number 36. There you go. Kind of slow. 36, and I'm down with the DBs this week. Oh, there you go. So I'll be watching for pass interference and legal contact. So and you guys he loves keep an eye on that. throwing that flag, let me tell you. High school football, Andy. Also kicking off. We're going to be covering high school football again. Yep. And this year, we're going to add a little twist to high school football. Yeah. We are going to look at the high schools for possibly finding students Hmm. that want to do some work on behalf of First Down Sports, writing articles, capturing video, whatever the case may be. Helping us cover the games. But help us cover the games. Yeah. From a a student perspective. Yeah, and and speaking of twists, uh, high school football is throwing a little twist at us as well in that they may not even play. We don't even know. We have no idea. It's literally a couple weeks away from the start of the season, and there's no schedule to date. And that's all we know, folks. That's I all swear, we know. That's all we know. That's all we know. We have our ears close to the ground, though, with the high school football, and we will update you guys the second that we have more information on the high school football this year. Yeah. Now, when he told me that he was not going to ref anymore, and I said, no, you're not, there is one thing that I think he is weaning himself off of, and it's, and it's working, and that is there's going to be way less Mountain Woods golf talk this time. All right? That I promise. Less Mountain Woods golf, but <laughs> since you brought it up, I have to give congratulations to Darcy Doyle, Okay. One of Doyle's our sponsors Doyle's rule. who has won no. the Mountain Woods Championship. What? Yeah, in a 16 man uh in a 16 man head up uh one-on-one match. He made it to the finals against Todd Bursey and won in extra holes to win the Mountain Woods Championship. And uh Stephen Connors won our tournament on the weekend as well so he's one of our club champions as well so congratulations to the con man and to darcy doyle all right doyle's definitely rule everybody get over there buy a jersey men's night dun and rye we've had a very up and down no, no. season i thought we were done with the met we don't need a dun and rye update okay we don't need it all right yes it's been very up and down very up and down. Very up and down. We'll leave but it at stay that. tuned for September because there could be some big news. There could be some big news. Oh, I imagine. Now, the one thing that you uh, listeners that have been telling us uh, over our past FDS shows is that you want to see more Jeannie B on the set. Well, guess what, everybody? If she'll come around and jump out here. I have to actually come around. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get you to jump out on the set. Perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. This is why she was supposed to be hiding in the corner. But there you go. There's our Jeannie B. She will be on set with us again this fall coming up. So make sure you tune into FDS Local Sports because we can't wait 
to talk about local your local sports Sorry. yeah here on fds local football and way less local golf there you go all right thanks for tuning in guys see you later deadly accurate today deadly accurate. deadly